Good morning, Richmond High School. Thank you for viewing RAN TV. Today is Tuesday, October 23rd, 2012. I'm Nikki Patel. And I'm Dan Sirkley Klein. Today's student dismissal times for today, that didn't make sense, varsity boys soccer, 2 o'clock. Students are reminded that parent-teacher conference requests are due, to, due by Friday, October 26th in the guidance, guidance office. Attention math club members, the rescheduled date for the October Math League contest is Tuesday, October 23rd. Sign-ups for winter sports will begin Wednesday, October 10th in the athletic office. That was a while ago. Congratulations to the JV football team for defeating Penn Cambria 24-8 on Monday and finishing with an undefeated record of 7-0. The Rams offense scored all 24 of their points in the second half. Touchdown passes from Hunter Bergman to Lenny Joy and Andrew Ludwig as well as a rushing touchdown from Dom Farina sealed the perfect season for the Rams. Defensively, the Rams played well, holding the visiting Panthers to zero points through the first three quarters. Strong defensive efforts by Shane Evans, Nick Hanley, John Lee, and the Rams to vic led the Rams to victory. Great work, boys. Homecoming pictures are in. Pick them up in Mrs. Lore's room, D111. Red, Red Ribbon Week is celebrated annually at the end of October in cities throughout the nation during Red R Ribbon Week. We remember Kiki, the man who wanted to make a difference with the national drug problem and whose legacy still lives on via said Red Ribbons. The Red Ribbon Week coalition stemmed from the uh, observance of Re Red Ribbon <laughs> Week started in 1985 from DEA Special Agent Enrique Kiki Cam Camarena was kidnapped, tortured, and murdered by drug traffickers in Mexico. Soon after Kiki's death, people everywhere started wearing red ribbons to symbolize the, their commitment to help reduce the demand for drugs in their communities. This act took on a national significance and grew into the Red Ribbon Campaign. This year marks the 23rd anniversary of Red Ribbon Week. Please wear your red ribbons that will be distributed <laughs> during November from October 22nd to 26th in support of our fight against drugs. Red ribbon. <laughs> Bully Busters will be avail available to meet with students tomorrow morning, 7.10 to 7.30 a.m. in the guidance office. Oh, this one looks a lot easier. Art students attending to the uh, Pittsburgh Glass Center workshop on November 6th are reminded that the final payment is due to Mrs. Ringler by Friday <laughs> along with the permission forms. Have you ever wanted to know what it takes to perform on Broadway? Now you can. A Broadway master class will be held on Friday, October 26th at 1 p.m. with Broadway star Brian Noonan who played Phantom and Raul on Broadway. To sign up, the cost is $20 to hold your spot. Seats are limited to 30 students. You must prepare a musical audition piece and monologue. Please see Mr. Miller ASAP. There will be middle school forensics practice today after school until 4 o'clock in B216. Music department and art department Little Caesar Pizza orders will be <laughs> ready for a fake up on Thursday, October 25th in the band room. Please make arrangements to have all deliverers all orders delivered that day. There will be a Halloween dance for 7th and 8th grade on Wednesday, October 24th. The dance will be held in the cafeteria from 7 to 9.30. Tickets will be on sale until homeroom in, in home room until tomorrow. No forensics practice Wednesday, October 24th. Mandatory practice Thursday, October 25th. That means all members must attend. And if you're not there, bad things may happen to you. Sad Safe Sofa Contest is back again this year. All students are eligible to win. Make a quote-unquote creative slogan that represents making good choices. Win a perfect cozy seat in the end zone for the senior football game on Friday, October 26th. You will also win free food and drinks delivered to you and a friend. Turn your positive slogan to Mrs. Dumb by the end of ninth period on Wednesday, October 24th. Winner will be announced on Thursday, October 25th during school. Scholastic Quiz JV team won the competition against Fisherman Court, 33 to 29. Congrats, congrats to David Buck, the high scorer. Varsity did suffer their first defeat of the season, 30 to 20. Andy Aww. Murtha was high scorer. Next meet is Monday, October 29th at 6:30 against Wimber. The anime club meeting scheduled for Thursday has been moved to Friday after oh. school. Food items may be dropped off in Mrs. Ringler's room before the morning announcements. Anime club members participating in the Johnstown Halloween parade are to be are to meet at Point Stadium by 6.45 on Thursday evening. Parents need to provide transportation. The varsity swim team will start their, se their season with a meeting on Wednesday, October 24th at 3.15 p.m. in the cafeteria. Good thing we got rid of that pond this week. 
Random fact of the day. The odds are over 1 in 3, which is 34%, that if you were divorced in 2011, the word Facebook is somewhere in the divorce filing. Yeah, Facebook is bad. <laughs> As always, please check the school bulletin and power school for all announcements.